So here we are. Welcome in Star Wars review of the Bad Batch. What episodes are we doing? Episodes 12, 13, and 14. 12, 13, and 14. I'm going to say 12 and 13.5. And we'll get into that in a second because I was confused about the last episode. All right. So. How'd everybody like these episodes? Really quick overall. They were good episodes, bad episodes, indifferent. Yeah. I, I enjoyed them. They were two thirds, good. yeah. Two thirds are good. <laughs> I mean, they they were they, they were good. Like if they were middle of the season. Yes. Context is important. Context <laughs> is very important. Context is important. All right. So what happened there, Canadian? Uh well, episode twelve, uh, the juggernaut. So we got to uh Again, uh, I want to point out uh, the fact that on their little island, uh, they're like, how'd you get here? And talking to the pirate lady. And she's like, I went through the back door, like, t- like tunnel thing. And they're like, well, that's an issue. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I'm like, you guys are poking ton and cheek here. Uh, everyone knew immediately. This would be a- they knew when they're writing this, there's going to be an issue. And they're like, screw it. We can't fix this. Let's just <laughs> yeah, let's just have a good time with it. Where everyone shows up. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so anyways. So they go and they have to so they get the find the way to get coordinates uh, to the Tantus. And they figure, let's go get Admiral Rampart. Uh, he's in the penal colony. Yeah. And they get to the juggernaut. I legitimately thought they killed him off screen. Like after he was arrested, they so would like, help to too. execute him. Mm-hmm. I didn't think well, they'd actually yeah. just keep him alive. Well, you got um, to have plot armor, so we got to keep him alive. Oh, yeah, you got to have some. Well, he was a great character, so, so it was good to see him. Um Death Stars to make. Yeah, what is this? Uh, for me, that, that episode was very... I, I blinked and it was done. It was, it was so fast. I feel like that's how you're, you decide if you like an episode, if it, if it blinks and it's done. Uh, for that one, it was fine, but the next one I liked, the, the following one. But as you may, I'll leave it like, you know, Kachin, what do you think of the Juggernaut episode? Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, yeah, I, I, you get more of a glimpse. I think these last couple, you see more of, of Crosshair's turn to being changed, mm-hmm. changed because of Omega, I guess. <laughs> but you know, he did. He did seem proud of her that uh, you know she turned herself in because he made a point of saying, you know, that she saved the town. You know, <laughs> because As she didn't endanger the town in the first place, right? Yeah, otherwise, it's her fault. All been it's yeah, it's it's her fault that all this is happening in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, seeing Rampart again was pretty cool. I, I I hadn't really thought of what had happened to him in the interim, yeah. it didn't really cross my mind. Good fun action, good fun action. I just made a couple of notes here, just really quick ones as I was writing. Most of the time, when it gets really sloppy, that means I was a little bit angry, and some of these are sloppy. Um, oh my God, not the pirate. Please stop is what I said. Because as soon as she started talking, I was like, no. And I really like that character. It's just that, that voice. Cause I, all I see is her and I can't do it. I can't get out of my head with that one. Um, here's the thing. Does star Wars not have long range sensors? Because when they went to the colony, they like, they don't know people are coming. Apparently it's like, Hey, you know, once we get on the planet, if we just cut off the power, they'll never see us. How do they never develop? I said on here, when the tech of Star Wars is worse than America has currently, like we can shoot a radar into the sky and know that an alien's coming. We have long range sensors. Apparently Star Wars does not because all you have to do is detach, fall down into the atmosphere, cut off your engines, and they're like, oh, ninja style. Like they don't have long range sensors. That was that was a little bit confusing to me. I know that they had to get there, but I'm just saying, if you're in a if you're in a in a, in a you know civilization where everybody flies spacecraft, you gotta know when the spacecraft are coming. Like you you can't just be so oh holy crap, there's something in the sky. Like you come on, there has to be some kind of sensor. Mm-hmm. That was that was the thing, but I, I get it. I I also said this. I have a turbo tank, and it is amazing. I just wanted to tell everybody that I do have a turbo tank, and it is awesome. It sits right over there, and I look at it all the time. It is an amazing thing. (laughs) Uh, And then I said there was was surprisingly (laughs) armored and uh, like had a lot of guns, a lot of guns. Yeah, it was good. I love that vehicle. It was awesome. I thought they did a really good job. They like they did a better job in this episode, almost of featuring one of my favorite vehicles than. You know, almost the whole Clone Wars. Who you just see in the background, like hopping over something. The other thing was, 
Omega did some acting in here, and Jesus, is that voice actor not? She is not a good actress. She is not good at doing any kind of emotion. She just comes off as super corny. I will just say that. And the happy point was this. They did no BS about the Tannis location. They went on a big thing like it is double, triple protected. I'm high up in the rank, and I don't even know where it is. The, v- like, the VPNs are good on that one. Yes, like they tell <laughs> you, and like uh, and like a warlord of old, they they bury the warlord and they murder all six people who buried them, and they murdered all six people who murdered them. Like you are not gonna find the location of that. And I was so happy they just didn't say, <laughs> "We'll break you out of here. Will you take us there?" No problem, right. because if he knew it, then they would have. They should have executed him, right? So like yeah, that yeah. was some good writing where they they had to say no we're gonna have to go a little bit extra because you can't just know where the damn location is and I, I really appreciated that I really glad there was no BS. It was funny when uh, was it Crosshair that said to Wrecker we're, we're executing Plan Fifty Five. I had to look that up, but that was the only reference ever of a Plan Fifty Five. You actually yeah. looked that up. He was like, I'm gonna go Google that. Has there ever been a reference to Plan Fifty Five? <laughs> Do you think when they're writing and and they want to throw something like that in there because they used to do that all the time in the first couple of episodes. They used to go execute. Let's do plans forty two or whatever. Do you think they do that? And they go, "Should we call it?" I don't know. They look around the room and it's like some posters, like summer fifty five. They go, "Ah, plan fifty five. There you go." And just write down a random number. <laughs> <clears throat> they roll a dice. And they go, "Oh yeah, here it is." <laughs> um, I guess that would be it for that episode. Really, I mean, it yeah, mostly leads much. right into the next one. I did um, like the music. Uh, the music is pretty. Yes. I mean, that's one of the outstanding things of the whole series. Mm-hmm. The music and the visuals, like it just. Looks oh, great. one other thing: when they were go- transferring from the tank into the was it the shuttle? Yeah, they just like <laughs> record just threw ramp up. Yeah, it, just it, no one caught him. He just landed on the on the ramp. Yeah. Oh, and the up. other the other thing I did say was so the drop ships they just have zero armor. Because they would shoot them with like one shot, and they're like, blah, 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 and they would fall. Like so, even though they're <laughs> drop ships, they just—if you're on that thing, you just go down, baby. There's no like, let's get some underneath armor to protect the soldiers. This is this is, uh, this is Vietnam choppers. Yeah, like this instantly. is. <laughs> it made out of tin. Like you're not getting any protection of that thing. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah. it. They decided that they're gonna go have to break this guy out because. The, and, I think it was Crosshair, right? Said, I don't know anything. I didn't want to go to that place. I never wanted to go back, so I didn't look to see how to get back, but I know somebody who might. And then there you go. Yeah. And then we get into the next... Well, do you have a score for this at all, Kachun? Me? Oh. Uh, eight. Eight. Well, wow, we're back to can't be disappointed Kachun, I see. <laughs> he was yeah. dropping them fives and sixes for a while. Now he's back to it again. I'm disappointed by this one. Good. And you, Casper? Uh, a two. No, uh, a <laughs> uh, seven. And I guess I'll do 7.5 then, just to make sure it's nice and uh, right in the middle. <laughs> All right, on to the next episode. Into the Breach. Uh, I like this one the most uh, of the of the three we, wa- we watched. Um, uh, having to go to Coruscant, above Coruscant, uh... How often do these people go to Coruscant and like they manage to avoid all the trouble? <laughs> yeah. My first line is the Empire security is so bad. Has it always been this bad? <laughs> like they just they just don't know what's happening. You're just like, oh, we never thought of that door not needing to be locked. Like it's so weird. <laughs> Sometimes I mean it's a TV show. They gotta have bad security, but no when, one's ever uh, said when, it would. When Omega met those kids that doll, I uh, for a second I thought that was her doll. It is her doll. Like, oh, it okay. is. Well, That's her doll. Yeah, it is. Why is like, you know, she like she kind of acknowledged that that's my doll, but in no way was like, "Hey, like that's cool." She yeah. was just like, "Yeah, where'd you get that doll? Where'd you get that doll? That's neat." Was just that's my fucking doll. Yeah. Listen, right now oh, you are you are emoting more personality than that poor actress who does her can do. <laughs> She's not capable of doing that. She just said, "Oh, neato doll." <laughs> I'm Omega. I like that they had to take Rampart, like clean him up and everything. Okay, well, you're at the pretend to be an oh, officer yeah. again. And he's walking around, he's doing his stuff, and he yells at the guy. He turns around, it's like, oh, I missed this. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, so you, were, you always were a prick. That's what it was. <laughs> he didn't want to put that captain uniform on. Though. Yeah, how, how, that was yeah, pretty was funny. Like, he's like, well, well I can't what? wear this. This is not my rank. What in the world? Like, <laughs> that was the he's like, he's like yeah, I can't wear this. This is wrong. All this. He's like, why? Et cetera. Like, no, it's the wrong rank. 
I I was a vice admiral. I, I worked my way to this. Like 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 getting him a vice admiral rank wouldn't just give away immediately because I'm sure there's a million of those running around. But um, then again, you think people would recognize him, but I guess I don't know how much time has passed between. Was that Bespin that were they were on? Was that a cloud? Of course not. It was a it was a space station like a. Oh yeah, because it so looked like. It did. I think it was supposed to kind of give you vibes of that because it really did look mm-hmm. like that shot. No sensors when the ch- chasing the ship. They just had no idea that they were being chased. I will say that again. Why do they not have sensors on anything to discover what somebody's chasing them? They're just none. Just like you could probably write that and say, oh, while we're entering this part, particular part of the atmosphere, the sensors will go down. And that's our window to do it. And they're just like, nah. You can probably look through the through the like the side mirror or the rear view mirror. You probably see them. <laughs> that's space balls. That's not Star Wars. Get out of here. You know that's space balls. <laughs> the RV, I'm sorry. But yeah, it was just a good it was a good action episode too. Like like the the tension, you know, Echo running around having to constantly doing doing the heavy lifting. I'm sure the Echo fans appreciated that that he was doing all that heavy lifting. I'm an Echo fan. Do we know? <laughs> we know. <laughs> I hope nothing bad happens to him. I hope nothing bad happens to him. Yeah, for my sake. <laughs> they stripped their armor. Yes, uh, the the dock commander being uh, the guy the guy who ran the dock very seriously. You know, taking his job. <laughs> the only one apparently taking his job that seriously. Everybody else yeah. kind of like, yeah, Re- records on there playing game on his Game Boy as they as the guy walks. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say they got to that control room. And there was one guy in there. What's up with the? There was just one guy. It no, there was. Well, there, there was an officer, but there was there was two other of the uh, with the helmets. Was there? Yeah. I could have sworn it was just one guy. I was, because I wrote it down. I was like, "Why is there just one guy there?" <laughs> uh, here you go. Oh, okay. I I was wrong. I thought there was more than. There was just the one guy. That's really weird. They all went for lunch. They all went for lunch break or something. Right. Yeah, it was just the one. Uh, That's so weird. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Almost about. Like the security is very questionable. Guy. So yeah, of course our heroes uh they make they get away and then back at the other place, that is whenever, you know, we we find out that Omega is hot on the ability to find a way out. She's what kind of room you know the funny thing is when I, I was gonna actually write down whenever we're watching that. That the rooms they're in are so weird because, like, in this future, there is no comfortable beds because all the beds are usually like looks like a rock with a smaller rock as a pillow, and there was like all these squares everywhere. But then they actually used it that was kind of neat. Like, that's a terrible, terrible design. It's a terrible design that you could just pop off one of the squares and you can get into the inner workings of the base. That seems like not very much a vault, but. That that to the point, it was kind of clever. That's how they did that. Like you'd have this room of like squares and she popped one of the squares out. How she knew that exact square was gonna pop out, I don't know. But uh, you know, she's Omega. She she knows these things. She's she's special. She saw the sample come through there, that's why. Well, that's true. She did see the sample come through there. I forgot about that part. There were R2 droids. You see all them? That was neat. Okay, so I do have a question about that. So the droids who have the uh what is the thing called? The thing that's on the end of your boy's hand, or they can, whatever it is. Like, yeah, like, yeah. So, our our heroes, and this happened before. You can pretty much get anything out of the base. You can go through any kind of secret file with those. So the droids, that seems like a pretty big security flaw, right? Because the droids could just find anything they want to. They don't have any kind of security clearance. Every so often, you'll see a story go. There's a droid down in the engineering trying to do something, but that's pretty <laughs> rare that they do that for the most part. <laughs> Um, and as the other thing was, if, if the droids are, are, you know, part of the empire, they're part of the team, wouldn't it not be like a simple code to say, Hey, if you see a guy who doesn't have white armor and he's just walking by with a big gun and you bump into him instead of cursing at him, set off an alarm, just set off an alarm because what is happening? Cause they're just like, Hey, I don't think you're supposed to be here. And then they go up there they go up in the anus of the, uh, of the ship, whatever that tube is that they fly up in, yeah. and that's it. And I was like, "There's no, there's no code that says, hey, if this is that, set off alarm.' <laughs> like I figured that, that could be pretty yeah. easily done." Um, uh, but the episode was awesome, and uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the end of the series. There's no reason to continue. 
talking about anything? Oh, wait a minute. We had they, one more. They, got, they crash in hyperspace and die. Um, they, so they, here it is. a great ending, though. Like, they, they, you know, managed to just get on that science vessel, clamp on underneath, just mm-hmm. before they went to hyperspace. I thought. Previously, uh, I give my other score 8 out of 10 for the other episode. Oh, there you that go. 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I, I, 5.1. 8.1. 8.1. 8.5. Yeah, man, we were close. Um, we were close. I'm going to go 8.05 is what I'm going to go on that What one. was the 8. point 1 for? Because Echo was doing was doing actual stuff in the in the show? Yeah. 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 Okay. Explain then, your yeah. point 1, sir. Explain it. <laughs> all, all the cool things I just mentioned. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. I enjoy the ending. I mean, the ending was pretty cool. Yeah, that's fair. Um, cool. So we have the, what do they call it? Pin ultimate? I don't know why that thing was flashlight. Like Semi finale. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the episode where it all happens, guys. Buckle up. This is where the crazy happens. This is where all the reveals happen. This is going to be the most exciting episode in any season and especially any series. Yeah, so it's probably gonna be long. it's probably gonna be an hour long. So mm-hmm. let's get into it. <laughs> so uh the other one, uh we have uh episode it's gonna be flat. exciting yeah. as an episode. It is fine. I mean, it's there. But in context, as the last, second last episode of the series, not season, the series, what are they doing? What is going on? <laughs> what do you, ha- why are you only just now, like, like Omega finding this, the Xylo, the Xylo Beast that we found out a long time ago was transferred. She should have found that like an episode ago. And like yeah. had that ready, opposed to just finding out now. And going, I have, a, oh, go guys, I have a plan. It's not bad <laughs> well, actually. There's only twenty minutes of content, and she was climbing around through those. Yeah, how many up- minutes? How many minutes was climbing through uh, FedEx's warehouse? And <laughs> it's like I said before we got on. Here's the problem, though, <laughs> right? So she's like, okay, uh, her her brothers, as she called them. Uh, show yeah. up, and I wish she would have called them brothers more often because it actually was cool. She kept calling them brothers. I wish they would they would have done that the whole time. It would have been cooler than just the guys I'm with. But um, yeah, she 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 hears explosions in the background, laser cannons, and she says, "Oh, oh my brothers are here." Okay, so um, and we're kind of jumping around, but I just want to say, <clears throat> she goes, "Okay." All the doctors leave, and the kids look around. They say, "What? Where's everybody at? Holy cow! Like, what? what where'd everybody go? It's kind of kind of scary." And she goes, this is my opportunity. Cover me. That's it. Uh, then she goes in there and starts climbing. Like you said, the episode was like 21 minutes long. BS. It was about 12 minutes long, I swear to God. And 90% of it was her climbing up and over stuff. As the lady comes in to start taking shots on what, 100 kids? No, on four. And, she's t- and, and, and the and fourth one was the great, last one. They did a great job of stalling. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm still hungry. And she's like, yeah, get over it, kid. Goes to the next one. And she's still climbing. <laughs> I laughed at that. I was <laughs> laughing. She said that. So I'm she's like, I'm, I'm hungry still. And she's like, you'll get over it. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. Did say something else? Like, oh, well, I'm, I tell me something else. And she's like, well, I tried. And then they move on. And then, <laughs> good luck to that person. <laughs> and that so, person was smart. They're like, I'm not feeling well. They scan them. And it's like, okay, sure. The other guy, I want to go next. And she's like, wait your turn. He didn't like right. try and run out there and be like, no, right. no, no. He was just I, like. They, they didn't know what stalling was to begin with. So well, yeah, that, that, the, the little panda one could have did a better job. You know what <laughs> I, I feel like happened with the guy who said, can I go next? I don't know what they did to that poor kid when he did try to escape. But that guy, they took all the fight out of him. He doesn't even try anymore. I don't know what kind of electric shock thing they did to that poor kid, but that was his. He laid down. So can I go next? No, hey, I gave it a shot, guys. And he went sat down. I don't want no part of that smoke. I don't want nothing to do with it. They beat the tar out of that poor kid, oh apparently. I wrote down those kids are so beat down and timid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are. That's that's the, that's the problem. So I just thought it was amazing that it took her 25 minutes to get to what she wanted to see in about 25 seconds to get back. I thought that was amazing that she's that fast. Starts with that cool flying battle. I thought that was cool. Hunter. Yes. Some pretty cool piloting, piloting stuff. Um, mm. But that's the not laser his... cannon. The laser cannons, they're firing and then they explode beside the 
shuttle? Like, yeah, they have gut. It, well, everybody like, like that. It's very weird. Yeah, it, it doesn't. There's no science behind that. It's a laser that has gunpowder in it somehow. I don't know how that. Yeah, works. it's like. World War Two lasers. <laughs> they shoot them in there. They put uh, you know, the little bobcats, little black cats, the little uh, fireworks. They shoot those in the lasers. Like pow, pow. They shoot them up there in there with it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. It's cool. It was actually cool. They said immediately, "Oh, that's not a normal just search pattern." They knew we were here. They they fight. I always think the bad batch. I don't mind it because the bad batch is supposed to be awesome, right? They're supposed to be even better than regular soldiers, but the yeah. amount of expert pilots that they can ace in like a bathtub with a rocket on the back of it while just throwing grenades out of it. They can't take anything and kill half the people that are chasing them. But here's my thing. So they get shot. They're, they're going to go down. They said, we're going to go down. All right. Plan 42. They didn't say that, but basically plan 42. They open up the, sh- the ships. They take a rope and they say, yeah. all right, Let's go. And I'm sitting there going, excuse me, excuse me. What are they about to do? <laughs> now, it was super cool and funny, but the amount of broken bones, I don't give a damn how uh, awesome clone you are. The amount of broken bones, the fact that they would have had no bones. It would have been all just you. I was, I was, I was dying they landed, laughing. They'd be turning around and look at Admiral Rampart. And his whole body, like a, ho- a yeah. horror movie, oh, yeah. mangled and torn into a tree. And he's just, oh, well, uh, we tried. <laughs> they during that 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 time in that in that episode, I I put myself in his shoes, Rampart shoes. I'm like, man, they're putting him through the ringer. I felt sorry for the guy. They kept just shoving him randomly, yes. and it was just like he just walked in normal. He's walking he's there right with now, them. Speed as they are, he just shove them really quickly. Though. Like Which he's there wild. with them. If he gets caught or whatever, he's gonna get executed probably. Like I'm here with you guys now, and they're like, you get. <laughs> You fall behind, you stay behind, bitch. And they just kept shoving him in the back. I'm like, why are you guys treating him like he's about to kill you all? Like, he's a beat down man. You just threw him out of a spaceship going like 300 miles an hour. And he had to bounce his way to the to safety. Like, what are y'all doing to him? Well, I'm okay. curious about his. That they, obviously, we're kind of jumping ahead here. But he gets he gets captured, obviously. They don't did he get captured? Spot. Or did he finally say, I've had enough and went running back to the Empire? Put my ass back in jail. These sons of guns are throwing me out of ships. They're yeah. shooting at me. Well, you say jail. I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder if he's going to just be like, Fine, screw it. I'm just going to. Here's everything. Well, he and did say I, he did have that little uh, foreshadow thing when he said, you're just like me. You're on your. You're on the only side yeah, that matters, like side. my side or whatever. And then he said, "No, I've changed." He said, "Sure, you have." So he already had that foreshadowing. So either he's gonna turn immediately, or maybe they're foreshadowing that there's something left for Crosshair to do at the end. You, you never know, I guess. Um, one thing I did like about the episode, I did like that the guy who doesn't play around, he's got the best security. He catches everybody who's trying to escape. Immediately put a plan in place to shut that crap down. Like he immediately was just like. Go out there, go find their bodies. No shenanigans. No, I found a random helmet. Oh, they're not there. Go. But here's the thing. Uh, so we just go into the jungle now. Do you remember they were all terrified of that jungle like five episodes ago? And they're like, ah, oh, don't go into the jungle. And now he sends all of his guys out. And they're like, man's of three just walking around in the jungle, like <laughs> not caring that that's like the deadliest jungle in the world. They're just like, ah, eh, we go into the jungle. Yeah, it's it it proven true. And yeah, but the, that- the science festival arrives and they like, he comes up and says, we've got to check the whole ship, right? And there's a crew of stormtroopers and the the whatever trooper with the light. That's yeah. Uh, scorch. Yeah. He, he says, we've got to check the, check the ship. But that lot of troopers walk straight past him. Yeah, I lost like, my mind. Check- I was losing it. <laughs> they well, they did, show, they, they did show later that she there was a girl checking them. By like looking so at their mask, cut it, I don't, they just cut yeah, it they did cut it in a weird spot. I will say um, this though, like I also feel like they were giving us a hard time a little bit because every way that was corny that they've got away with, like dressing up and pretending, doing all these things, they kind of did that in that episode. Like, oh, you pretended to blow up, go check the go go check the ship. Oh, I, you you've already been checked once. Well, we're gonna check it again. Like it's like all the ways they have got away with it. They were like shutting it all down. I thought that was kind of funny. I, I will say one thing I was really happy with. So, like, obviously, Echo puts on a suit, and he realizes he has one hand. He has he has Lily, like he has a stump with the little stick coming out of it. So it's yeah, like, it's what do you obvious. do? And he, and he shoots he shoots the droid, and the droid freaks out, and he goes, "Oh, wait a minute, 
this works. And he like puts the hand on. I'm like, oh, it's really clever. Just kind of get rid of that way. Does it doesn't and, actually um, work, does it? Does it actually grip and grab, or is it just there for looks? Oh yeah. It, it, it's it? like that's like they're, they're like uh you know they attached to any droid, I guess. That's how it works, right? Like that yeah. motion. Show us that again. Yeah. Does that how does that ha- that happen? Because I <laughs> what's the hand? Mean? So the um you want to talk about funny, stuff I added out for YouTube? That will be the, the thing ship. I added out for YouTube. They they go and lock down the ship. We got to check scan every single person. We know that they had turned the comms off on the ship because that's how they got attached to it. Because they said as soon as they got in the orbit, they're like. There is Clone Force 99 is here. It's like, how would you guys know before the ship even did in the air? So, okay, sure. So they t- deactivate the thing. Only droids deactivate it. Let's just have the droids come out the pooper shooter in the back, like out uh, of the trunk, just shoot out and just go off and do its own thing. Not, they didn't check any of the. No. They didn't know. No, not even one guy standing there, just at, at the base of it going, yep, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> But you had to be excited about so, this because you want to talk about, you know, your your favorite Bad Batch character getting his limelight. That son of a gun was got ninety percent of the episode was just him running he's around. Die. That's why he's showing up a lot. Oh, don't don't say that. Why would you say that to uh, him? Well, I gave him MVP of the episode. So <laughs> yeah, Finally. he did the hard work. I did think it was funny when Rekka said to Hunter, "Oh, you found us." I'm like, of course he can. He's he's got <laughs> human human sensors, even though we haven't spoke about it in two seasons. But yes, of course he did. All right, so they are they're running around the uh, like we said before the forest. He gets scared and runs for his life because he leans up against something. You lean up against a furry beast. You're like, oh, this is sure is a comfortable cliffside. What are you doing? Like really? So he takes <laughs> off, just running away from this thing, and of course he ends up falling down. And he he lays there, and, and the stormtrooper boots come, so he's captured. Go back to the jungle. That creature, like <laughs> Rampart, was like shoot, shoot it, which is a pretty good idea, right? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Hunter, Hunter says no. The blaster fire will give it away. So give funny. Away. Yeah, and but not like, the that, and not the, the roaring yes. roaring beast. <laughs> That's what I was thinking right away. The twenty oh, foot oh. snarling beast is not going to give it away. Now, oh, counter to that, if the beast didn't give it away. Wrecker jumping on it going, Yahoo! Just screaming on top of it. It would have at least alerted a couple of guys. <laughs> okay, listen. We all have friends that when they were younger, they did stupid crap. Like the first one to jump <laughs> off a cliff and then breaks his leg and you're going. But how many times is that idiot going to do something like jump on the 20-foot beast? And he didn't even hang on for more than two seconds. That beast threw him. They're like picking him up. And they're like, come. Here's the best part. He didn't do a tree. I think they paralyzed. They picked him up. So they did the thing where everybody's on one side and they're dragging him. And they just turned, like, slowly turned and walked. And then they go between trees and the beast's like this. Ah, and just can't get to them. I'm like, do you want to move a little faster? Like, this thing is going to eat y'all. You're just like, come on, Wrecker, you silly fella. And they're just walking off like they're not about to get eaten. I was like, go. What are you doing? Run. Like, leave him behind. Clearly, Hunter had never been to a bar with one of those mechanical bulls. <laughs> God, it's but, oh, there was that end scene with uh, Echo meeting Emery. Or that was oh, probably yeah. the, that was probably my favorite scene of the episode. You're right. That oh, was wait, go go Emery. Uh, but Tell basically, me. what the episode wanted us to know is that they figured out how to get there. They're they're in the jungle running around. Echo found out a way to possibly get away from her captors, and Emery is on their side. Omega is like, I climbed through the FedEx warehouse, and I found that Xylo beast we saw a long time ago. All right. Mm-hmm. And she comes out, and she's like, I have a plan. That's her plan. What the fuck is your plan? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to climb back the to the vents? Like you spent an hour in the vents. You're going to... How are you you going to free the beast? Yeah, because it's gonna like, eat all the all the do? electrical stuff. It's gonna eat all the, It's gonna eat all the electrical stuff and grow big and bust it bust out. That's what yeah. It was, it was great about that. It's gonna eat all the electrical stuff. How are you gonna get out of there now? How are you gonna get off the fucking planet when the ships are all broken? She's gonna <laughs> she's gonna grab the 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 FedEx. Well, we're, I don't know if we we said this. Just in case we didn't. Inside of this thing that kept flying by her, and we were secretly hoping one was gonna you know knock her on the noggin. They had these little red boxes that kept flying by, and I guess that's where they're getting the information through. They don't have the internet, apparently. Again, 
America, our world, hell, I don't know. Uh, North Korea has better technology in some places than Star Wars does because they're still using like boxes that are flying around in the background. Apparently, they're still using the old bank teller thing where you put the little tube Shoot. in there yeah. and the vacuum goes. Shoo! They're still using that <laughs> apparently. And uh, so yeah, there's like these little red boxes that are flying around and inside behind the walls. And she's gonna snatch one of those when thing happens. And she's just gonna ride it like this. She's gonna be like, and it's yeah. gonna take her back uh, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll work. Oh, she climbed man. up, right? When she went out, she climbed up to find the creature that was in a big tank of water. They pulled the plug, drain down and fill the vault with water, drown everybody, and <laughs> they'll get out that way. <laughs> they'll ride the flood back up. God, I am so like I'm beyond lost. Like her, she's gonna use it to like take out the power, and then they're gonna get out that way. But then what the? It has a power out. It, it, needs like, a, it eats power. It's going to literally take all the power of the base out. You can't contact anyone. You can't get a ship. What is going on? Listen, Ventress. the other thing is Ventress. this, right? Ventress. Ventress. Oh, Here's the thing. Are they going to free all the clones? Supposedly. Or just the children? Or just the children? Because that's what... Um, when Echo ran in there and talked to Emery, he's like, I want to free the clones. And then she's like, "Oh, there's our kids with uh, with uh, Amiga." And he's just like, "Kind of, there's more kids. There's kids here." Like, I feel like the clones are gonna get shafted for these kids. Here's a problem. Omega is a thing. It's kind of like what I said with Ezra when I used to watch when we that the, that show was coming out. You can't have a character like this running around, and the Empire never mention her. The Empire never put all the resources on finding her. So if she escapes. And they don't murder her, or they don't, <laughs> don't you tease me, they don't murder her, or they don't do something with her, and she's free and running out there living her life on a different island somewhere, that's ridiculous, because that's they would put all the if resources back, behind it. If they go back to that island. To that island? And just live their back. life? They, if they, they go back, they better, like the natives, the people living there, better, like, execute. Yeah, on site. Like, um, Absolutely. Like Captain Cook style, just execute him on the beach as soon as she arrives. Just- <laughs> one of her friends goes, "Oh, make it you!" And she goes to hand her one of their like sushi plates because they love sushi. And, and it's, it's and a then thermal that, detonator. And then she's like, "Yeah!" Stabs her, <laughs> stabs her, and they go, "We got her! Please leave us alone!" And that'd be the end of it. I'll be like, "Oh, what great writing! Thank you." <laughs> yeah. So, quick question here. So, basically, the episodes have been like twenty five minutes, like with the yeah. runtime it says. Yeah. So I tried looking it up. There is no confirmed runtime for the finale. Mm-hmm. There, people are making comments about it'd be interesting if they, because the first episode of the whole series was like it's seventy-five minutes, is what it was. It'd be yeah. interesting if they mirror it into the seventy-five minute finale or something. They need Which to. an hour, please God, because you need you need time to wrap this up. My God, I I can't imagine what what is it going to accomplish. And Pabu and and they got to turn that that back door cave into like a spaceport. <laughs> that's where everyone comes in now. the truck stop it's a truck stop <laughs> my thought um, when, I, when you just said that I was like no I don't want to watch an hour and a half of them Omega saving the day but like you said if you if it's not going to be an hour at least there's no way you're landing this plane with any kind of resolution no. there's just no Cause way because like, like dude, they're not even at the base yet the other guys you have okay, Rampart got captured what happens with him the, the rest of the team isn't at the base yet they have to get there Echo is just talking to Emery, and they're going to have to go rescue the kids. Omega has her own plan to rescue the kids. You have Hemlock. What's going to happen with him? Is he going to die? Is he going to talk? To, like, what's going to happen with the whole plan? What's happened with the project? On yeah. top of that, what's it's the actually- finale after that? Do they just leave and it ends? Or do they have to have resolutions or epilogue where they end up somewhere? And like, like oh, and, everyone and- goes their own way? That is like, that alone is 10 minutes in oh, my mind. How about the, it, it was at least theorized if it wasn't said out loud. That we're going to find out the stars of the clones, like all the clone stars, how they all decide to go and play Three's Company in a uh, in a in a in a, in a other planet. Yes. We got to yeah. wrap that up too. And oh, what happened? Who is this? Who's this infiltrator that they purposely showed? Survived? Oh my god! We have to show. We have to wrap that up too. Oh lord! Yeah. On top of that, <laughs> is it? Uh, we we still have the uh, the whole thing of like, where's Cody? Did Cody die? Off screen, is he the infiltrator? What's going on? Oh my god, what, I can't, what about I can't, Wolf? We I got just, teams with Wolf. Where is he showing up? 
<laughs> oh yeah. How about That's all she interest? Did she just show up for like the the, the for the I'm gonna emotional? be so pissed if she's not there at the end and they kinda hope that they do nothing about Cody because I feel like every time they <laughs> tease something and they don't do it, there's a few more Jedi that come to our side. There's a few the dark side grows bigger every time they do something like that and they're like, This is so annoying. I kind just to watch it burn. I kinda hope they do nothing. They explain nothing. They just show them walking out the base, and then that's it. And there's no resolution. Oh, my God. Just to watch it all burn. And then there'll be some fun (laughs) YouTube videos to watch. (laughs) Thumbnails thumbnails alone would be be amazing. You know, uh, four. That's your score? This episode, in context to the whole thing, a four. And the reason why I'm giving it a four is only because Rampart was funny. Um... And the Emery and, and Echo scene was great. All right, Kachung, what are you giving it? That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I gave it 7.8. It would have been 8.3 if oh my God. it was <laughs> if it was um like in, in the middle of the season somewhere. I would crush you for this, but I, I was giving eights out just because Venturus walked across the stage. And shook somebody's hand. Echo's here doing the hard, heavy lifting. Um, so he's happy. I would say I would give it, I'm going to give it a one, but because I'm going to make the previous episode instead of 8.05, it's going to be a 9.05 because I'm going to combine these two episodes because that's what should have happened in the damn first place. There should not have been a 20 minute final episode. We're going to combine the two and we're going to say the other one gets a little bit of a bump because this was just the commercial between the uh, two episodes. There's no way there should have been a standalone episode. Get out of here. Or maybe this should have just been released with the final. I will or that I will sure. go and confirm later on how many how much of the runtime was her climbing through the for the FedEx warehouse. Um I'm gonna put it out there, and if I'm wrong, then you guys can mention it on the next time we do this. To me, that confirms the next episode's gonna be long. Because there was no reason why you couldn't have added this to the beginning of the next episode unless you already had a pretty long runtime and you needed to cut it down. You see what I'm saying? So that, that confirms here. You heard it here first. We're going to get a long run time right here on the Mr. Grill channel. Uh, that confirms it. Long I'm going to say conservatively, they're probably going to do like 45 or something. I don't think they're going to do an hour. I got a question. <laughs> like it's, it, and it's going back to like the content of, of maybe the whole series. Like uh, when Hemlock was showing Omega around, giving her like the little tour, <laughs> <laughs> he said like they were talking about her samples and you know what what they needed them for and they were wanting to get a sample from her right then and there but he mentioned that they'd used one of her samples to figure out something in the past and it made me think like if you already had a sample from her why didn't you use that same sample like i'm a scientist you take a sample you take a big sample and you use it for multiple analyses. <laughs> that's well, it's like Voodoo said. She said it is explained because well, Star Wars set is a long time ago. So maybe because <laughs> a long time ago they can't reuse sample. That technology does not exist yet. They can mm-hmm. only do a one and done yeah. for every episode. The droid so drinks it. The droid drinks the sample. Oh right, they spill the rest it. of it. You can it always turns ca- it into, into the engine oil. You can always count on the Canadian to say something off the wall, like the droid drinks the samples. That's uh... <laughs> I'm the droid expert. I don't know. Uh, How else are you gonna get M count? Yeah. Sure. He's like the droid's like. Mm, 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 mm. That's a five M count, if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So is that well, is the that is the show? That is the review. It is all over. Uh, Thanks for hanging we, out. With this us. is officially way longer than the finale will be. The, okay. Our review of these three episodes. These th- our review of these three episodes will be longer than the finale is. Not after I get through cutting it down, it won't be. All right. Yeah. So that's it. 